What is it, my peeps? It is Deej here, and I'm about to wolf out on everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my werewolf video for the new Dongar DLC for Skyrim. Um, I'm going to go over just the basic general stuff that's for all around werewolves, because I never put a video out before. I put a vampire video out for the other, for the standard Skyrim before, and uh, it was, got a lot of love, but there was a lot of things I didn't quite know about werewolf, and that I even uh, found out now, but the uh, reason I didn't do it before is my companion's questline glitched out on me at the point where you're supposed to go get the witch's heads and bring them back, and then... Uh, um, help cure Codlack, and I never got to do that, so I never got the the totems of her scene and all that, and I didn't get the other howls that you got before. I, I I didn't even know about them because I didn't get them, and I found all that stuff out on this go around. So um, that's one thing I'm gonna do in this video is tell you how to get those and what they do and all that. Right now I'm just kind of raping this village, and uh, that's one of the perks from one of the howls you get is the two werewolves coming to back you up, and they're they're pretty badass themselves. I mean they have just as much power as you do. They throw people around like crazy um, it's a pretty good one it's about the only one that I would actually use because uh, the only one I was used to was the the, the howl of fear or whatever and uh, you know everyone's used to that again that's all I played with in the standard Skyrim because I didn't know there were other howls uh, but uh, you get a perk and I'm gonna go over those and then I'm gonna show you the whole perk tree but uh, this is one of the ones that perks uh, bumps you up I never did play with the ice wolves because I just went with this perk and I'm pretty sure it replaces the ability to get ice wolves with these two werewolves and they're pretty badass <laughs> the howls are the standard fear one this one uh, brings you help and another one that I honestly I just don't see a purpose of at, for being a, a werewolf it what it does is allows you to see creatures through walls and and it tells you whether they're in combat pursuing you and all this different thing from different colors but you just get to see creatures and and, and enemies through walls I mean as a werewolf I just don't get it because um, you're not a stealthy guy I mean look at this I mean does this look stealthy no I'm just up in everyone's face ravaging them ripping their throats out and you know claw on their faces <laughs> so I honestly don't get that uh, but anyway I'm gonna go over the perk tree here in a minute because that's the whole new thing for Dongard. while werewolves were badass and to me before better than uh, vampires I'm not sure now because the vampire lords are so sick if you want to see some uh, stuff regarding them check out one of my other videos for now we're gonna go over the perks here on the werewolf and this is the whole perk tree and most perks that you get from this are very passive they're just uh, added to the abilities that you already do uh, the first one here is uh, boost your strength and you you can put four different points into this. It doesn't matter if you put them in right away. You just need one to unlock everything else. This one is Animal Vigor, 100 extra points to health and stamina. Uh, feeding heals twice as much health. So when you eat their heart, it gives you twice as much than it does. Able to feed off most dead creatures. Feeding off creatures instead of people provides only extended time. So that means you can feed off goats, bears, uh, I think even trolls and stuff like that rather than just people. Uh, werewolf Totem of Brotherhood Howl c brings you two Ice Wolves. Uh, this next one is the Werewolf one that you just seen. I think getting this one eliminates the ability to get the Ice Wolves. I think you just got to choose whether which one you want. I never did use the Ice Wolves. This one here is the one I was talking about that is basically useless. Uh, I'll show you later what it does. It just lets you see people through walls and where they're at. Uh, this one here is what you start out with, but this perk here allows you to fear away higher level people like, you know, storm guard, uh, well, all guards, you know, rather where be with the standard howl you can, it'll, it'll let you know that you can't, uh, fear away higher level people, but that one does allow you to. Now, there are people that are still too high a level to do it, but it just lets you fear more people than before. Uh, so yeah, that's the perk tree, and I'm going to go over what the different uh, abilities here are in a minute, uh, but right here is where you change your howls at the in the underforge and uh, by the companions in, uh, what is it, white run? Yeah, right run. And you got to get all these totems here, and I'm going to show you how to get those in a minute too, but that's how you change whatever different howl you want to use as you go to it, and you pray to it you can't change it on the fly now I think that's kind of dumb but uh, anyway that's the, this is the way it is so uh, whichever one you want to do like there's the hunt one where it shows you the people through the walls the other one that we were just looking at is the fear but the one in the middle here is the the totem of brotherhood and that's what brings you the backup uh, like I said I never did use the ice wolves because I didn't have it until after I already filled up my perk tree and so I never got to play with it but to me werewolves are badass and you know it just seems like they're better so whatever <laughs> you let me know if the ice wolves are cool or not 
Uh, so here we are. This is going to be the, the, the totem of hunt, and you're going to see here in a minute when I howl, you'll see uh, blue and red people. I'll bet you the blue ones are the passive ones, and the red ones are the guys that are scared away looking for me. You see how that guy just changed when he looked at me? And these are other people searching around for me, and to me, as a werewolf, that's just kind of dumb. Like, I can understand maybe in the concept of in the woods at night during the mist, but <laughs> that doesn't go on here and especially in towns and stuff like this it's like uh looks like i killed everybody already there isn't nobody in this town uh so yeah to me it's a dumb perk uh here's the fear one and like i said when you bump the perk up you're allowed to fear away guards and i got this pretty neat clip here where i got like five or six guys running They're like oh my god get it, it's a werewolf <laughs> which would probably be more realistic uh, it's about a, uh, what was it, about 10, 12 seconds they run away, then they turn around and they're like, oh shit, we gotta do our job. See right there, they turn around and they turn again. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, to me, it can cause a lot of hectic, um, you know, like they're running away and then you gotta run after them and somewhat find them. But uh, if you're in trouble, say there's a few guys attacking you and you're getting close to dying or something, um, it's a good way to get them off your hair. Um, you know, so... Uh, that's that's about all I see it good for, um, you know, because to, when I'm a werewolf, I want them coming at me so I can hit them. So I guess it's really only a uh, defense tactic, you know, so uh, use that however you want. Uh, we already seen the werewolf, so I ain't going to go back into that. This is how we get the uh, totems of her scene. you got to complete the companion's quest, cure Codlack, and then as soon as that's done and you become the Harbinger, you got to go to Ayla here. She'll give you some jobs, and now it'll start out to where you got to go across maps and uh, do this animal extermination thing and uh, kill some beasts in different places and whatnot. And you got to do that until she gives you this other quest that makes you go look for the totems of her scene in different dungeons. So what I recommend when you do do this is you also have the ability to have her follow you so instead of going back and forth have her get the quest have her follow you and I'll show you how to deal with it once you get it so yeah here here we are I killed the um, or no this is the beast that they're sending me on a, a quest to go kill I gotta clear him out of this dungeon here and so there there we go see so I completed you go to you talk to her you tell her you killed them and then so um, to get the next quest tell her to leave to go back home and before she leaves talk to her again get the quest and then uh, yeah you get the quest and then have her follow you again so just that way you don't have to keep going back to Whiterun you can just complete this quest easily and quicker um, because there's three different totems to get and uh, I just found this easy so I didn't have to keep going back to Whiterun you know loading screens suck <laughs> Uh, so I recommend you using that little tactic. So once you do all the killing, uh, you got to do one to three uh, animal extermination quests before she'll give you each totem quest. So, you know, it, and I, I, like I did it once and it was one right off the bat. I did it a couple times and it was three. So um, you just got to go through it and deal with it and finally wait till she gives you the certain totem quest. And then once you go get them in dungeons, you bring them back here. You place them on whichever pedestal they go on. And then you just basically come prey to whichever uh, sh uh, howl you're going to want. So, um, and you can only turn into a, a werewolf once a day. So it's pretty easy to, you know, make time to come get these. It's just, I think it's kind of lame that you have to, as we're like the vampire lord gets all their powers and stuff in a little favorite bar, like, um, well, you like the standard favorite bar, but it's only the vampire perks. Um, I thought they should have done that with this too. I was wondering why. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so that's basically it. That's uh, all the new perks and all the powers for the new werewolves and Dawn Guard. Uh, here we go. I'm going to change it up and... Uh, do some howling and ripping people's faces off. <laughs> I'm going to put a video out on how to cure uh, both vampires and werewolves soon. Uh, if anyone's interested in that or don't know how, I'm going to put that out. Basically, you got to have some of those witch heads, and then uh, you do it the same way Codlack did. But I'm going to put a whole video out on uh, both of them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, look for that soon. Um, like I said, there's only three things in the perk tree that actually do something. Well, four, but I don't count that one because I never got to use it and use only one or the other. So there's only three different abilities. The rest are all passive. Um, that makes the werewolves really badass. Uh, you know, as where the vampire lords have all that new abilities to float around and be cool and, uh, you know, uh, they're really strong now. They really bumped the vampires up, but I, I would like to see a vampire on werewolf action because, with, especially with that four points of 25% each in the in the stronger claws, that's a heavy hitting werewolf. And I'm killing guards in like one to two, or well, 
three swings tops, you know, and it's it's wild. Anyway, guys, uh, if you like this, leave it a like, and if it was helpful, uh, share it on Facebook. <laughs> Until next time, stay gaming and uh, get your wolf on. <laughs>